Previously... We have a... Toilet. Hey y'all, I'm Holland Roden and this is my van, Holland Days. The quarantine in 2020 had me questioning how I can live my life with more intention. So I took the plunge on a dream I've had for years. Back to my bag in the entertainment industry in Los Angeles, bought a van and I am self-converting it in Wisconsin with no building experience. But a builder, an engineer, my new friend Steve Mivis is here to definitely help us along the way. So this is our box that we're going to make, right? Mm -hmm. And these are the sliders here and here on the sides. Mm -hmm. So the overall outside dimension is 20 and a quarter yep. and it's 18 and one three and quarters half. on the inside, one and a half less. Yep. So, and then 20 this way. And so I want you to make these outside pieces out of three quarters inch mm -hmm. and the base can be half inch. Half inch. Okay. Yeah. Make sense? Yep. Look at this. See how that close this is? Yeah. Oh, it's like perfection. Ooh. I know. She told him I should be rocking. She told him, baby, I'm a job. We need to get clocked in. She next level. Eyes full of pride. She won't settle. No breaks. So she hit the road. Foot to the pedal. No days off. I mean, that's often offensive. She like the ball, like the park with the fences. Yeah. So her lifestyle get awfully expensive. She might dismiss it, but it's hard to resist her. Cause she's a boss. Yeah. You can just tell when she talks. Shut the room down when she walks in. Not the type of woman you meet often. Ready? Woohoo! Who wants to go on the toilet merry-go-round? So excited. We could just do it forever. B O S S L A D Y. Challenge her that wouldn't be wise. B O S S L A D Y. L A D Y. This is a boss. Hello. Uh, so it's about 2.30. Had breakfast, went to Menards, had lunch, had a wood debate, because we are building upper cabinets now in preparation for Steve's good friend Mike coming over and the birch comes in different lots at the hardware store and so some of them is really pink and then some of them is more yellow and we're looking more for a yellow lot. And they did not have any this time. Unfortunately, they're really, really pink and it wouldn't really go with more of like a yellowy Ish, more van theme so we're gonna just cut strips of plywood and have the edges be lined versus solid and that's okay so that's what we're doing that's Steve he's on the roof Hello. <laughs> looking like an alien in the background unfocused um, we had a little bit of a leak so he's fixing that leak it's on the skylight shocker and I'm gonna do flares so you guys are going to see flares you're going to see a guitar box Hopefully a bike box, definitely a cabinet in preparation for Mike. We're gonna get started. It's 2.45, let's do it. Examining toilet. Inspecting toilets. Always inspecting toilets. Um, so Mike brought me a present. Yeah. We've been talking about you for two days. Like, well, so Mike's coming, so we have to get the cabinet done. Mike's coming. <laughs> Guys, look how fun this is. This is the brain. <gasps> he even matches the other Victron stuff. This is so cool. This is the European brain yeah. that we were looking for. Yeah. And it can, makes the systems all talk to each other. So nice. And Special ready. order from the Netherlands. This is the one you can't get. This is the one you can't get. You can't find this. Dirt. Victron, you need to make some more of these. Steve, what are you doing right now? My creative solution to putting together cabinet faces out of plywood so that I don't split the plywood. Ooh. I just pre-drill them. One, two, three. Graceful. Woo! Got it with scat without scaffolding. It's so bad, dude. That's ridiculous. This camera can catch it, but. Oh, wait, okay. here. 
So how am I just, I'm standing on a 400, but it never stands on a 400. Yeah. Oh, there's no, no, no. Okay, so that's a biggie. Do I just go like this? Yeah. Just sand? Yeah, just sand until we start to see it go, so. It's coming off pretty easily. Steve, we're gonna need your grinder. <laughs> you know when I like to do all my paint work? When? At night when I can't. When there's no sun. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite time to do paint work. That's the best time to do paint work. Like that. Just a couple more rust spots. There you go. The That's the top. The rail's pretty sturdy. You want to be, get back a little bit on, yep, there you go. Hey, good job. Finally able to do this, not with scaffolding. It's amazing. <laughs> nice job. Thank you. Thank you. What happened? Yeah. When you pinched. When you push. Yeah. You gotta push on like I did, I like thought. That. Otherwise when you push Never out happened. like that, it'll pinch it and then uh -huh. it'll kick back in. Yeah, Whoa. also if you push here, so it pinched this side. My heart's this, like skipping so fast right now. This hand is only Ooh. to catch the um catch the piece when okay. it when it drops, right? Yep. So just put only like Ooh. this can just like drop and fall out of the way. You don't care about this piece. That's like the trash piece. Yeah. So really only put pressure here. Yeah. Because you want to make this distance the entire time square. You don't want any yeah. twisting. Yeah. Okay. All right? It fits perfectly. Good morning, guys. So today we are doing... Okay. Yeah, I already had lunch. Where did time go? I thought it was like 9.30. Yeah, no, it's like 11. Sure like 9.30. <laughs> Fifele had to go to the vet this morning. She had a surgery when I was in Los Angeles. She had 11 teeth taken out and a little sister moved on her butt. So we uh, had to go take those sutures out. They're out. And of course I had to pick up a sandwich on the way in from town. So we are going to be building a bike box. They're building a cabinet. We have a lot of polyurethane to do. I'm finishing the flares with the trim. It's a long day. This is Stanley. We've also got Craig Jig. Can we get Craig Jig? Like, this is the Craig Jig. This is Stanley. You've got a lot of other men's names, and so I was like, wouldn't that be funny if. I'm gonna make these boys have a tool line that says like, instead of Stan and Craig, it's like Rebecca and Tiffany. And we've decided that Esmeralda is the jigsaw. We've got clearly the table saw is Karen, let's be honest. And we've got, um, I don't know, leave in the comments below. What would Tiffany be? What would like a Becky be? Um, I think Esmeralda's uh, reserved for the jigsaw. We've got Karen on the table saw, but we've got like, the multi-tool, we've got the belt grinder, we've got um, the sander, uh, what would this be? Cynthia instead of Stanley, we've got Cindy instead of Craig, I don't know. I can feel it. Start the a feminine name to because you both build, yeah. so it would be. She mm. just uses like manly name tools. I know I use manly name tools too. Yeah, there's only. Do you think I want a no best friend named not Stanley? <laughs> <laughs> Stanley's my favorite friend. He's the measuring tape. Carrie That's loves it. naming things. She so, does. Like, yeah, she That's... names all of her things. Really? Yeah. Like, so, what's like... your favorite name? This is gonna sound crazy, but okay. she names she named her thumb drive Stanley. <gasps> she has the same name? Yeah, but it's a flash drive. No way! Yeah. Ah! That's crazy. Yeah. So I just thought like what classic names would they choose if they were girl names? 
because I think that's pretty funny. Yeah. You've never seen like in the Bosch and Milwaukee section, like Betty Ann and Esmeralda. I, I think there's a market for this. I think, he, I think he got something going. Yeah. Tools by Holland. Def I said it's free, someone take it, because I'm definitely not taking it. I am not in the building department. I am dabbling in the building department. Hi, I'm taking the camera. Whoa. This is gonna be super exciting. I'm gonna plug this in and nothing is gonna happen. Steve, what are you doing? I'm connecting solar. Woo! And now we have solar. <laughs> but no sun. Our heater controller is getting mounted. This is for the S bar S3 system that Heat So hooked us up with. So we are just gonna peel this off, stick it right on there. Oh, perfect. Voila, just like that. This is where the system talks to each other, right here, and then you've got the heat, and then this is a uh, solar connection, and we got some rockers. The rockers are for gray tank, and what's the other one? Turn the weeboos on and off. Turn the weeboos on and off. Weeboos on and off. Weeboos. Hey guys, we just want to take a moment and thank Weeboost for being our first sponsor. We seriously appreciate it. It means so much to the channel, and we just wanted to let you guys know what this product actually does. It completely boosts your signal. Mine isn't great ever in rural areas. So it basically makes working on the road possible. And Steve here is, of course, the brains behind the machine that put it in. And I know little odds and ends, but I'm gonna go ahead and let Steve explain it right the first time. I mean, all I did was follow the instructions, so I don't know about brains behind <laughs> anything. Uh, so it's a pretty simple installation. We've got our main unit uh, right in this cabinet here, kind of our electronics unit. So it sits back here and connects to the outside antenna and the inside antenna. We put it on a switch so that we can turn it off and on when we want to, because uh, we might not always want to have it on. So we've got our switch here to turn it on, and then the outside antenna is routed up through the roof, and it sits back over top of our uh, roof skylight over there so you can access it and tilt it up and tilt it down mm -hmm. and then the inside antenna we routed right back up into this cabinet here so it's in a nice central location but still tucked out of the way so what it does is just takes the uh, any cell signal that's available and amplifies it inside the van so that you can get better reception and faster speeds when you're on in fringe areas yeah so if you guys are working on the road i do feel like this is an essential item to have, and I am just so grateful that WeBoost uh, decided to sponsor this episode. Thank you, WeBoost. Yeah, thanks, guys. That's Wizard's Chest. This is the last menagerie we're doing because, um, we're getting all of our slides, our drawer slides. We're also getting uh, our, our plywood and our shaker style cabinets and some little bits and little surprise in the middle for, uh, for the cabinets, for the door faces, for the cabinet doors. There we go. Anyway, hopefully this is one of our big last runs at Menards, so. Wish us luck. We made it to cabinet doors. We're, just because we're buying material for cabinet doors doesn't mean we've made it we're to cabinet doors. We're almost at cabinet doors. Almost. So we have our last two half inch sheets right here. Hey guys, so got back from Menards and oh, plywood. Eight by four plywood. Okay, so we're gonna finish the spike box. We're gonna start polyurethaning it. Then we're going to put the rubber on it. Then we're gonna get some sliders in. Well, sliders will be before the polyurethane, but sliders in for the top gear box, which we've already got right here. Ooh. That guy. And 
Like I said, hopefully Menards. It's like one of our last big runs that we had to take the big plywood thing, camera Holland lens thing right there. So that's kind of the plan today. Steve's gonna work on finishing the AC unit. Yes, I'm gonna have AC, guys. Secrets out. I do live in Southern California. It's really hot the majority of the year. And if I'm living in the van full time, I definitely wanna want AC in the heat of the day. Times like Corona when you can't escape to a coffee shop. So that's the deal on that. So this is our rails of our bike box, as they fall over. Um, and basically, you do, we did the circ saw this way, circ saw this way, we had to do it freehand, so Steve did it. And um, now we took like a little notch, because you can only stop at the front edge of the blade on a circ saw when you are trying to knock something out. So there's a tiny little connection in here. As you can see, it's still that. We're going to jigsaw that out from each side. know it's a picture wrap on this brush because this is the poly brush and there's no more poly because this was the last poly ah. but I feel very excited about it isn't it exciting bud I know I know <laughs> two more weeks guys till the Grand Van Tour next week we have Sprinter store they have been legends in hooking us up with two amazing van attributes can you guess what they are click that subscribe button Hit that notification bell for a new episode every Sunday. Y'all come back and I'll see you later.